it just works. Hell yeah. So I don't know which screen is like the main screen of this game. So at the moment I have it on the bottom screen because um. Um, there you go. Yeah, I know, it's sick as hell. I don't really know anything about the series, but apparently, uh, this game is made by the developers of, um, Wild Arms. So it is like, um,. So it's like a Wild Arms successor, spiritual successor. But I don't know much about Wild Arms. I've known some people who really like that series. So. But yeah, I'm so happy I managed to get it running in high resolution. I didn't find any other footage of it online in high res like this. So, as far as I know, I'm the first. Okay, so if I click out of the window, everything slows down immensely. So I have to stay clicked into the window. And there's the little puppy. Okay, we gotta switch this now. There you go. Oh my god, look at how this game looks! Holy shit! Holy fucking shit. This game has an um, has absolutely amazing art direction. It's stuttery on the stream. Oh no. My view is not stuttery at all. Oh god damn it. Well, let's see if anything can be done about this. Let me change it to a window capture instead of game capture, first of all. Okay, there we go. That worked. Yeah, it was just being a game capture that screwed it up. Let me just cover up the status bar there. There you go. Much better. Okay, sorry about the stuttery opening. Alright, there you go. Well, I'm just gonna go with regular names, because, like, when you're playing a game and the characters have established names, renaming them always feels really weird to me, so... I'm just gonna go with Dorothy. But god, look at the fucking art direction in this. That's why I never renamed my Pokémon. I never give them nicknames.
God, this game is beautiful. I'm so glad I was able to get it to run on high res. And also that uh, doing window capture fix the stuttering. Let me know if it gets stuttering again. There might be some more I'm able to do to fix that, but... So far, so good. Because when I'm playing the game, I can't see the preview window. Her name was Dorothy. What is that in the bottom right corner? It's like a little smudgem. That's part of the window capture. Ah, oh, it was because it was slightly off screen. There you go. Fix it a bit small on stream. Hopefully there's not too much parts of the game where the text is there. I don't think there is, like, often text there because, like, every, like, all the gameplay footage I saw had it laid out like this. So either they didn't care about the text or it's not over here very often. I guess I could switch screens for now. Yeah, now you can read it. I guess there's no reason I can't just switch screens. The pacing of restless animals and even the hooting of owls had stopped. She could do nothing to stop her violent ascents to the tempestuous sky above. I'm sorry, I have a bad habit of just reading to myself when I'm streaming. <laughs> I don't really read aloud. I'm not that type of streamer. Confused by the tornado, the debris of what was once Dorothy's home turned to dust in front of her eyes. I've had people say that they like listening to me read stuff out, though. It's so, like, maybe that's the way I can draw people in. Beyond the wreckage, however, were what seemed to be two shadows, or so she thought. An illusion or not, Dorothy was certain that they were the shapes of her late parents. I miss you, she cried. The cruel night ignored Dorothy's deep longing and blinded her with its darkness. Helpless and alone, she fainted. Oh, there's still more. Oops. Whoops. No, oh, bottom first, please. There we go. The click radar. Oh. Uh, awaken visitor. Called upon by a thundering voice, Dorothy sprang up from her dais. Seemed she had been lying unconscious, but for how long she did not know. Before her was a lush meadow with colors as Dorothy had never even imagined possible, on a road paved with shiny yellow bricks. Being awake seemed no different from a dream, and Dorothy knew then she was far, far from home. You might even say, she's not in Kansas anymore. Dorothy looked about her, and saw the remains of what used to be her home. Her body ached and her legs were weak with relief. To survive such a storm was a miracle indeed. Welcome, visitor, to the land of magic, the deafening voice roared again. Was it speaking to Dorothy? She turned about seeing the owner of the disembodied voice. It was indeed a peculiar sight. Gentle breeze and warm sun rays. 
And then there was a giant shadow towering over her as she stared, dumbfounded. You know, in hindsight, the Wizard of Oz is honestly a good springboard. Like, it is a good setting for a JRPG. <laughs> you know? It honestly has all the makings of a good JRPG setting. I just never thought of that before, but like... It fits really well, honestly. The giant shadow began to speak. Is it really like a fantasy Isekai is her gun? Visitor, listen well. I am the sovereign ruler of all that you see before your eyes. I am the great Wizard of Oz. The shadow's words hit her with gale-like force. Stunned, Dorothy was unable to answer. Ignoring her silence, the voice continued. Visitor, I see that you have been brought here by accident from a foreign land where magic has no bearing. In your current state, even walking on the brick road would prove impossible. Damn, can't even walk. The reason, Visitor, is because this land is filled with magical power. Simply put, this world is under a spell that keeps outsiders from wandering about freely. Make not such a pitiful face. I am not a heartless king that would leave those that are lost in this world to their fates. If you were to accept my invitation to come with to come to my castle, then I shall help you. First, here is a pair of magical shoes. With these, you will be able to move about this land as if it were your own. Some weapons and armor. Okay, that's a little different from the original story. Progress is impossible without defeating enemies. <laughs> the classic part of the Wizard of Oz, where Dorothy was unable to progress without defeating enemies. The classic part of the Land of Oz, where you can't progress without defeating enemies. magical path that leads to my castle. Try walking. Try finger butthole. Oh my god, look at her. Hold on. The art in this game is fucking amazing. Look at her. Oh my god. <laughs> That's all touch controls, huh? I probably... I might want to use my trackpad for that, or drawing tablet, rather. Well, I only have one plug to plug it in with, though. And I might need buttons, so I'll stick with the mouse for now. If it's, like, impossible with the mouse, I will switch to drawing tablet. Spin the ball. <laughs> Spin it with one smooth slate rather than numerous sharp tabs. There are coins up ahead. Try walking towards them. What a weird control scheme. Okay. Oh my god, but look at how beautiful this game is. I have not seen anybody else play it in high resolution. <laughs> Fucking look at her. The art direction in this is amazing. Sasha, look at look at her. That's beautiful. That is what you call a coin. Playing this with the mouse is okay. So far. I don't mind it with mouse. Oh my god, look at her though. 
Isn't it wild? There's so many DS games where like the textures are actually pretty high resolution, but you would never know because the DS's like screen resolution was so small. But then like, you know, you do this with it and suddenly like a whole new world is like opened up to you. And look at her run animation. Is that not so adorable? Like, it's a bit Amy Rose core, but, like, I give it a pass because it's really cute. <laughs> Is she wearing a backless dress, by the way? Is that her skin sticking out back there? That's a little funky. <laughs> oh my god, her art. There's a pet the dog button. Look, anytime you can just pet the dog. Also, look at this this pal over here. I see you've entered a battle. Reminds me of my youthful days. Four turns per round. <laughs> That's an interesting system. I'm gonna leave the text over here. I'm just gonna read it all out when there's text on here. A victory, as expected. You are quite the warrior. Like, I think I would prefer to give emphasis to the artwork. Because it is really nice. I mean, the pre render stuff is low res, but. Is the wizard. The Windsor of Ozzer a public dom domain mean? It is not, no. Or at least it wasn't when this was made. Like, it was still owned by Warner Brothers. Like, this is a licensed game. There are many monsters that don't have it this land. Let me find out. I don't think it's public domain. The book, maybe. The book. The book is public domain. The book has been public domain since 1956. Copyright status of the wonderful Wizard of Oz and related works. Future film adaptations. I say, okay, so the film, the film, which is what this is based off of, and is like the most like well-known aspect of uh, Wizard of Oz, was made in 1939, and the copyright was renewed in 1967, so it remained copyrighted for a 95-year term. Entering the public domain in 2035. Warner Bros. owns it. I 
Uh, so yeah, there you go. So you have to be careful. Um, so this game is officially licensed, like, when you open it up, the Warner Bros. logo is on it and everything. Um, so you have to be careful making Wizard of Oz stuff. Because you have to make sure it doesn't look like the 1939 film. Like, it's similar to, like, Disney stuff. And that I... It's like you can like, they made stuff based off of, like, public domain stories. Oh, this... <laughs> I don't really have a lot of people in the chat right now. I was hoping you could chat. The more chat, the better the stream is. Anyway. Um... Because yeah, Disney made a lot of th things based off of public domain properties. Uh, but they have copyright over their version of the property. So if you make a version of the public domain version, you have to make sure it doesn't look like Disney's version. So, like... <laughs> but that's how it is, basically. Anyway, let's continue. Don't forget to heal yourself with potions in the... <laughs> See, it's doing my least favorite... This is the thing. This is the thing I always hate. <laughs> And then I try to avoid doing in my games is just like having characters just diegetically tell you about menus and stuff. I hate that so much. Ah, uh, Biss, you're a cute little Fifi. Uh, everybody loves you. And you enrich the stream so much when you're here. There's no praise for you. They're gummy ghosts. <laughs> the gummy ghost gang was defeated. Gummy ghost is an inspired design. Look at these enemies, these are beautiful. I love them. Go back. You wanna see the lake again? Okay, hold on a minute. Let's get through this fight. The flying pig bat. I, I'm so glad. I, I know I've said it several times. But I'm so glad I can play this in high resolution and we can like properly appreciate the art design. It's like they put so much work into these models and everything. It's such a shame to like see them get so crunched in the original, like playing this in the original context. Oh yeah, they just like see you would never be able to like get this much out of the water if it was original resolution. Look at that! What a beautiful technique to use for that. Look at how pretty this is. A good discovery, Dorothy. Yeah, buttons do nothing in this game. See my guy. This is touch screen on my Like it's like see, like this is stuff that would usually be mapped to buttons. It's mapped to touchscreen buttons. Automatically changes depending on how you interact with your surroundings. <laughs> oh my god, Sasha, look at her! She's adorable. You should play with your dog once in a while. 
<laughs> this game is amazing. Yeah, buttons do absolutely nothing in this game. I've just put my controller all the way over there. Go to Yellow Brick Road B. It's interesting Nintendo has never done this with DS games. Like, they do this with Nintendo 64 games. Like, when you play them on the Switch, they are at 720p resolution. Um, instead of the original. When they put DS games on the Wii U, they didn't do that with them. Um, I wonder, like, if they ever put DS games on the Switch, or maybe on the Switch 2 or whatever. But this ball is, like, so satisfying looking, too. Like, the way they've... Like, see the little sparkles in it that they use to make it look 3D? And it's, like, so smooth. Look at that 60 FPS spinning ball. Why they make the trackball so satisfying? I've never played a game with a control scheme like this. It's really something. Like, it feels really natural, too, honestly. Buongiorno, young lady with the fancy red shoes. To where are you headed? I can't let you through being a scarecrow and all. It's my job to keep things out. I normally don't like hurting girls, but I guess it can't be helped. <laughs> Some of their sexy man or everybody talks about how much they want him to hurt them. Scary Scarecrow. Well, he's just really beating the shit out of me, isn't he? I love that part in The Wizard of Oz, where Dorothy gets- or where the Scarecrow just smacks the shit out of Dorothy when they meet. Harry Scarecrow is defeated. <laughs> I really like this game so far. Oh, uh, well, 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 I must admit my defeat. You are quite a strong lady, young lady. You are quite strong, young lady. I know the word lady in there twice. Go ahead, you can pass. Since I can stop you with strength, I have no choice. Would you mind if I joined you on your travels? Straw man? Yeah, because they didn't give you enough letters to fit Scarecrow in there. So you have to call him Straw Man. Look, see, S C A R S C A R E C R O. <laughs> you can't fit Scarecrow in there. If you see any jellyfish-like monsters, leave them to me. They're my specialty. What the fuck is that, man? Do you know where this road leads to? Hmm. 
Maybe I should ask for a brain. I've been told that I've got straw for brains. And in the far off distance, her straw man pointed, Dorothy could glimpse the magnificent spires of a castle. It's supposed to be a city, it's the Emerald City. Looks like something out of a fairy tale. It's not out of sight of awe and its beauty. Far off it may be, but compared to how far she'd already come by the tornado, the distance felt. the distance seemed trifling. And if the straw man's claims were true, perhaps then the reason the wizard summoned Dorothy to his castle was to grant her wish and send her home. Just the thought gave her hope. And so, with a new ally by her side, Dorothy started down the yellow brick road. The jellyfish hater has logged in. Switch characters. I love these little drawings so much. But how do you like the art in this game? I gotta get your opinion on this. Dorothy will be doing all the work and also taking all the hits from enemies. Interesting. <laughs> You're so confused by this adaptation to a JRPG at the artist hook kit. Yeah, I know. Like, it's surprisingly... The Wizard of Oz works surprisingly well as a JRPG. So yeah, hi! Welcome to the stream! Nice to see ya! Also, I've never played a game where the movement is like this. So oh, those are switch fighters. Alright, let's go for that. I guess when it's a jellyfish, it really should just be all scarecrow. This is kind of a unique, like, RPG system as well. Like, it's not that, like, it's just an RPG system. Let's look at the backgrounds and everything. I like the way that, like, to kind of disguise the pop-in. They have stuff fade into the background. It gives it such a nice look. Like this, like having stuff like fade into the uh, through color. It's such a wonderful look to it. But this game looks amazing. I've never seen a DS game that's like this nice to just sit and look at. Oh, the music is lovely, too. Like, I've played some nice-looking DS games before, like Trackmania DS. For instance. Um... But, like, this is the best one, for sure. Alright, let's fight the jellyfish. Alright, straw man will fight. <laughs> you would have idled on this game for so many hours. Yeah, I don't blame you. Really, fighter gang was defeated.
Look how sparse the coins are. What's with the sea creature theme? Crabby crab. Oh man, the shrimp man is about to die. I didn't even notice. Uh oh. Oh yeah, the portraits are so... The art in this is so, so cute. Oh, some of those things here. You have to use something special to do... To, um, revive. You'd see the Dorothy picture better here. <laughs> She's so cute. Also, this has been, um... Actions aren't tied to characters is really neat wrinkle and character death. I see. This is pointing out the dog's butthole. Yeah, it's so tiny. I don't know if it would have really been noticeable on the original resolution of the game. So it's an interesting detail that they included. Dorothy's good at fighting the gummy ghosts, so I'll let her handle them. When did MP get used, anyway? I think it didn't get used. I think it just leveled up, but it doesn't like automatically fill all the way up when you level up. I think that's all that happened. Yeah, I think she's wearing a backless dress. Or if not backless, like it's like. Because, like, see the shading on the top of her there? Like, maybe it's supposed to be some kind of like. Sheer material. So she's not like completely exposed in those areas. But also, it might just be shading. I think that's her skin. Let me let me take a look. Let's see the official art. Doesn't seem like there's any official art depicting the back of her. Which I suppose makes sense. Oh wait, here it is. Yeah, yep, there's no back on that dress. I can confirm. See, right there in the bottom right. Also, this art is great. Let's just appreciate this for a second. I love what they did with her design. It's so appealing.
Oh, hold on, there's something here. Oh, right, I was going for that earlier. Um, I missed it. Oh, look at how he stands up. Holy shit. That's a man. <laughs> Excuse me. Ferocious lion. Oh, I can get rid of the bean. He's not invited. Sorry, I forgot. He's dropping Mario 64 character mods be like, oh yeah, because they're all stanced up like Mario. <laughs> Lions usually roar real loud and attack people, you know? Ferocious Mayan. Let's just do half and half. Just freaking punching us in the face. <laughs> Never imagined I'd be the one to lose. I lied about eating people. I don't even attack them. I'm actually a vegetarian. But I am a lion. I like how the lion tur spent a turn defending. Yeah. <laughs> because we're scared of me. I will go with you guys in order. To I will go with you guys. <laughs> in order to gain the courage to live with confidence. It's just funny to see, like. That type of modern language used in Wizard of Oz. Lion. You know what? You know what other book series I think would make a killer JRPG is um, the Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> I think you could do something cool there. I don't think that's ever been done. I think the only Narnia games that exist are based off the movies. I just realized I have the screen like slightly cut off. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. <laughs> it is funny how they just try to fight me. A logger, but he's really ill-tempered. Okay, the lion fights the crabs. Look at his fucking art! No, listen closely. You got up to four turns per round with Doherty, the end straw man. It is not possible with your new friend Lion. In exchange for the power Lion has, he only gets up to two turns per round.
We only get up to two turns per round. Cool. Big Kifty. <laughs> Right, we're going this way. I was wondering what that ratio thing meant. I'm just gonna go Dorothy all the way. Yeah, I'm not usually super into RPGs, but this one is just simple enough. While also having some interesting mechanics. So I'm pretty into it, honestly. It's simple enough for my baby brain. And complex enough to keep me engaged. Basically. God, the backgrounds are so good. I am not over them yet. Like, it feels like you're walking down like a really nice, pretty nature trail. I'd love to see this game poured into like stronger hardware so that like you wouldn't have the pop in. Even though, like I said, I like how they handled the pop-in with the color fading. I think it would be really cool if the color fading was still there, but you could see farther into the distance. I think that would be awesome. Like, see, let's just get, like, an, a proper HD upgrade rather than just running at a high resolution like I'm doing. Would be so cool. This is one of those games that you'll probably, like, never see again, though, I imagine. Like, this is fully just a one-off. That's how it goes with stuff based on licensed properties. You will fight the Gummy Ghost. Or wait, no. Opposite. I guess it already had him with the jellyfish. Oops. Like, I'm happy just to have this game at all. But, uh, it would be so nice if we got to see it again, you know? I mean, I don't think that they've ever even ported uh, Wild Arms, which is what this developer is more known for. As far as you're aware, yeah, it's a real shame. Like, this game is, like, incredibly obscure. I didn't know about it until, like, super recently. Like, earlier this month. Are they even an active group still? I have no idea. I know very little about any of this.
I could have had no use for the lion yet at all. There he is, the Tin Man. I love what they did with his design. Moonflame Powder revives a fallen ally. We haven't even seen any more crab enemies. Is there a save option? If you save, like, automatically? We'll save a save site just in case when we quit. Look at his tiny head! He's got, like, a bird head! Va? Oh, that was a lot of, um... This is a lot of dialogue, huh? I'm gonna go with Dorothy and the lion. The mad logger. I'm actually gonna do just lion, honestly. Because he's so strong. Then we're gonna switch because he's running out of health. Spread it all over too. There we go. <sighs> Boy, he gave us a ton of freaking experience, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Those suddenly attacked Dorothy and her friends were able to defeat and calm the logger. It seemed his temper was indeed as bad as rumored. Dorothy thought of what she could call this tin logger that never said anything but hava. That's a little different. He's not gonna sing about if I only had a heart. Hey, would it be alright if I called you Tin Man? The logger did not throw a fit at Dorothy's words. Perhaps he was fine with the name? <laughs> Calling him Tin Man as something that Dorothy came up to call him really recontextualizes that. Hey, can I call you the Tin Man? Like, he is a Tin Man, but like... Dorothy explained to Tin Man that she and her friends are on their way to the Castle of Oz and that they would like for him to let them pass. Wah. <laughs> Tin Man is better than Mad Logger, it sure is. No one understood what Tin Man meant, but he stepped out of the way to let Dorothy through. And as they passed, he slung his axe over his shoulder and began to follow. And so, along her journey down the yellow brick road, Dorothy gained three new friends. A cheerful scarecrow who wanted a brain, a cowardly but gentle lion who desired courage, and an ill-tempered but powerful logger made of tin. What he wants, nobody fucking knows, cause he won't tell us. <laughs> the throne of Oz was just ahead, but even if her journey were to take her beyond the castle, Dorothy was no longer afraid. Whatever the challenge, she and her new friends would forge ahead.
Dorothy, your new friend, 10 man's ratio is 3. This means that although he may be terribly strong, he gets only one turn per round. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Look at the little drawings of the monsters. Putting that aside, I'll explain monster affinities to you. By affinities, I do not mean what monsters like in their partners. <laughs> Attacking monsters you have affinity towards will deal greater damage than usual. From the looks of it, Dorothy, you have an affinity towards ghost-type monsters. Strawman is water-type, lion is shell-type, and Tin Man is plant-type monsters. That's an interesting type system. We have ghost, water, shell, and plant. Always be aware of your enemy's affinities and decide who will fight each round based on assessment. If there are four ghost type monsters, then Dorothy should go all four turns. Telling what type of monster is is not as difficult as it may sound. Every monster's name has a symbol indicating their affinity. Just use that as your reference. That is a wild type system. Oh yeah, see, so you can see the fish there. You know, I'm curious, uh, on the topic of Narnia games... What ones exist? The Chronicles of Narnia video games. Let's see, there was the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe video game. That's based on the movie. It was from 2005. I forget that movie is so old. And then there's the Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian. Developed by Traveler's Tales. I didn't know they made a Prince Caspian movie, actually. It was in 2008. It must not have done as well, because I never even heard of it. Yeah, the, so the, the movie one came out on Xbox, PS2, Windows, DS, GameCube, and Game Boy Advance. Maybe I need to try that out sometime. I think I got Bean Bonus stream. And clearly I need to watch the Prince Caspian movie. I had no idea they even made that. What the hell? Traveler's Tales made that. Mm. Well, I guess it did decently. I just somehow wasn't paying any attention in 2008, I guess. Chronicles of Narnia film series. Well, and they did Voyage of the Dawn Treader. I had no idea. Plans for a fourth film were abandoned when it was announced in 2018 that new adaptations would be made for Netflix. God damn, well I need to watch those. I like the Chronicles of Narnia. I just like the very last book in the series turned into like a weird religious thing. Like there's always like like the, the author was like very Christian. It's like there was always religious themes in the books, obviously. 
But like, it was more, I want to say like, tasteful. Um... Like it was just used as like... Theming. Whereas in that book, it just turned into like a weird religious thing. And it just wasn't very interesting anymore. <laughs> The Last Unicorn, is that what that one was called? Like, the last book was my least favorite. Chestnutty. No, that's a hell of a name. My favorite book in uh, the Chronicles of Narnia is actually the prequel one. Uh, the, magician, the Magician's Nephew. That one is the one that uh, primarily was like an inspiration for Grey Area. And stuff like that. I've always been fascinated with that bug. But, um... Yeah, out of all the books in that series... Oh, here's the nice water again, if anybody wants to see. So pretty. Yeah, the Magician's Nephew is so good, and the, like, the... The description of, like, the in-between world is so evocative. It's kind of like sci-fi fantasy. Which is, like, my favorite combo. <laughs> Get that guy banned in every chat. Get that guy out of here. <laughs> Thank ya. <laughs> like having chat on screen so when... There's... <laughs> the, one of the benefits of the chat on screen is when there's a bot. I can point at them. I can be like, get that guy out of here. Kill that guy right now. With this. Oh. Uh, um... I don't seem to be able to react- interact with that thing. Do we have a stream feature? <laughs> For every time I sp specifically successfully buy on a spam bot... Cause your short animation of you in orbit... So every time Biss specifically manages to ban a spam bot. God, look at the environment. Hold on. Stop, Dorothy. Hold on. Look at how pretty this is. They put so much work into making this look appealing. Like, look at, like, the terraced, like, rocks here. And the texture work and everything. Well, like, I want to be here, you know? Wielding a kilometer long laser rifle and sniping their house. <sighs> the environment design here is so fucking appealing. Like low, like low poly, like like indie games that are going for this type of aesthetic with their graphics. Like, they're like, they wish they could look this good most of the time, you know? I, like, this is giving me a lot of inspiration for doing 3D stuff.
You like the manual shadows? Yeah, I know you're a big fan of those. Those are Abyss's specialty, yeah? Yo, there it is, the Emerald City, or I guess castle in this case. Well, there's my thumbnail. This game is so well put together. Oh. <laughs> I've been awaiting your arrival. Welcome to my castle, brave warriors. The many seek my audience. You, my brave warriors, are the first to stand in my audience chamber. This could only mean that you possess extraordinary qualities. Dorothy, a visitor from another world and a girl with magical shoes. You may have a frail body, but I commend you- Well, you don't have to- That was uncalled for, dude. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I've watched with my own eyes your excellence that exceeded even my expectations. Lead your friends as you have to do whatever you have set out to do. The king of all kings in this land of magic wish to reward you for your efforts. To lay entrance to my presence with a word of blessing. You have come a long way and I welcome you. You'll get you- put your tongue away, dude! <laughs> Uh-oh, he's a head and hands boss. The Wizard of Oz continued to extol the travelers in his thunderous voice. All the while, Strawman stood silent. Lion forgot to even cower in fear, and Tidman did not stir an inch in his awe of the wizard's aura. Even Dorothy's pet, Toto, stayed close to her feet, peeking out from beneath the helm of her skirt. The grand castle, majestic ornaments, and the Wizard of Oz himself had all but overwhelmed Dorothy and her friends. After finishing his long-winded and highly formal speech of blessing, Oz surveyed the dumbfounded foursome and smiled in satisfaction. Kings, they say, delight in being feared and worshipped. His appetite for attention thus sated, Oz began the next topic more casually. This may be lengthy, but heed me well. What was that Tinkerbell over there? This is a land of this land is a land of magic. In this land of magic there is a tradition in which the most powerful wizard of which becomes king. The most powerful wizard in this land is Oz, myself. Although there is one that seeks to challenge my reign and upset the tradition. Protea the Winter Witch. She and her three daughters, Flora the Spring Witch, Delphi the Summer Witch, and Holly the Autumn Witch, have invaded the area surrounding this castle and are posing as rulers. As a result, this land of magic is unduly divided, preventing any unity. Each of these four kingdoms has a barrier protecting them, and even I cannot cross them freely. I'm a bit, I'm a bit sus of this, you know? This guy who proclaims to be like the supreme ruler of all the land as like these these four uppity women are trying to stop me. <laughs> there's sowing chaos in the land and and there's no unity. You gotta kill them for me. I'm a bit sus of your motivations here. <laughs> You're so threatened by these four women that we have to do your dirty work for you, huh? If you're so powerful, why can't you take care of them yourself, huh? I could, like, like... <laughs> you said the strongest witch or wizard rules the land? Well, what if one of them is the strongest, huh? Where's my evidence they've done anything wrong, huh? The only way to end this discord is to bring down the barriers by stealing their power source, the egg. 
and defeat the witches in their strongholds. Yeah, but like, why? Therein lies the problem. The witches cannot be defeated all at once. If I were to vacate my castle to challenge one witch, another may claim it in my absence and gain total control of the land of magic. I cannot allow such a thing, and thus I cannot leave this place to defeat the witches personally. Oh, why does he look like that? Oh, I have been waiting for warriors such as yourselves, but unfortunately no one has ever made it to my castle because of the witches' barriers until you, Dorothy. Using my magic, I have been searching for a worthy warrior, and behold, in the midst of the debris, the tornado brought to this land was you, Dorothy. You know of what has happened since. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem, King, I know, right? Why should I trust him? Was it not you, the king, that caused that tornado? I do not know the culprit behind the, your presence here. You were caught on the tornado and brought hither, were you not? All I know is that you found a collapse. I found you collapsed in the ruins of a house, and your dog frantic with worry. Could it be that the tornado brought Dorothy to this land of magic? The, the tornado that brought Dorothy to this land of magic was the result of a mere accident? Dorothy thought back to the night of the storm. And the way it destroyed her house. And then she remembered the shadowy forms of her parents in the midst of the chaos. I miss them so much. Oz began to speak formally once again. With this, you are now aware of the purpose of my summoning you here. Go forth in the name of the great Oz and defeat the witches. Then Oz added, If you are successful in defeating Pertea, the winter witch, I shall reward you by granting each of your wishes. Dorothy's faith, Dorothy's face lit up with hope. So you'll send me back home? Of course, if that is your wish, Dorothy. Wow, so he's he's blackmailing them. Well, not blackmailing, but like bribing them. Holding them hostage. <laughs> Dorothy made up her mind. In any sense, she would not be able to return home without defeating the witches as well as the request then. Looking down upon them, Oz let a small smile steal across his face. Understood? Now then, my brave warriors. First, infiltrate the land of spring, since the spring witch is the weakest, and steal the eggs that power its barriers. With the eggs gone, the barrier should weaken. This opening up a way for you to ambush the witch in her lair. Oh yeah, you may note that everything here is pre-rendered except for the characters because they're doing 3D rendering on the on both screens at once, which the DS like really hates. So to make up for it, uh, they have just they're they're just using pre-rendered backgrounds. The only game that I've like properly seen render on both screens at once without like any compromises is uh, Mario Kart DS. When it does the track previews, it renders it on both screens at the same time. Um, that's the only time I've ever seen that done on a DS game. Otherwise, if you see rendering on both screens, there's some kind of compromise going on. Don't lean over like that, dude. Touch the exit button located at the bottom right of the touchscreen to check the world map. Look for areas where the barriers have weakened, and if you find one, simply touch the location to enter it. Get that guy banned in every chat! Kill him right now! Remember to recover your HP plus MP and save your progress. Well, only just now I get to save. Holy guacamole. I shall grant you access to the castle reserves in exchange for your coins. Failing to prepare means you're preparing to fail. Wow, only just now I saved. Well, it's only been two. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that a lot, but...
I do not have money for this stuff yet. We've got our little map screen. This will return me to the map screen, I think. Oh, the water. Look at how pretty this is. I know I keep saying that. But like, Jesus Christ. Are you still there, Bis? Look at this. You're gonna love this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is this not inspiration or what? Holy moly. Oh, we've got a cat. I'm gonna keep going for maybe like another half hour, by the way. Cat hoods that are just standing around like me are on brink. You can't be a gentle meow because you're a girl. Girls can meow too. What are you talking about? Oh, fork in the road. Places like these are marked by signboards. Just approach a signboard on your all-purpose button will change to a signboard icon. If we take it to a menu where you can mark the signs any way you want. Interesting. Cancel this guy immediately. Is there both question marks? I ain't no, because I haven't gone down either of them. That's an interesting mechanic. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. A hungry wolf and a star specter. Oh, we need to get healed. We should go back to the world map and ask to be healed. After this. I didn't think we needed to be healed, so I didn't ask to be healed. Oh, Dorothy's automatically going to use a potion. That's neat. Why does the Tin Man fucking miss every time? Is he stupid? Let's go for this instead. There we go, Jesus Christ. Wait, who are you? Oh, hello, are you travelers? Nice to meet you, I'm Flora. 
look at this character design. Are you guys happened to see a giant tornado recently? Whatever it touched down. I guess it's not around here though. <laughs> if it weren't for her, the magic wouldn't have gone out of control and blown away for to some foreign land. So we not got no one got hurt because of it. Missed up one of my magic spells and created a giant tornado by accident. I was hoping to find out what happened to it. Well, she didn't stop to let me explain that it was me that got caught in the tornado. Wait, look underneath the ball. It says something. Hold on. Hold on, let me, let me, uh, make it, uh, what? It says Riz Zoad. Why does it say Riz Zoad? Underneath the bar. Wh hello? I'm very confused. Gamer commands. Rizzoad. Wait, hold on. I should probably save whenever I'm here too. Anagram for some reason. A, a wizard. Let's see. W I Z A R D Oz. <laughs> yeah, it's an anagram for wizard Oz. With also a dash in there for some reason. The way she flaps her arms really is remarkable. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> Tried to stop that sneeze. Caught up with me. Snuck up on me. It was like a like a silenced sneeze. I don't know where either of these go, so. Let's do lion ties. These uh, these ones have no aspect, like they have no type. Let's see how the straw man does on them. The straw man seems to be able to hit them more often. He also takes a fuck ton of damage. Look at how pretty the background is during the battle, by the way. Nice. 
am never getting tired of these visuals. <gasps> Look at this mushroom dog creature! Look at this beautiful, beautiful boy! Holy shit! Look at that thing! See, and this is why I wanted to play this game in HD, because I was looking at, like, footage of it in the original resolution, and you could just barely make out the monsters. And I wanted to get a really good look at them, and this is why. Look at how great that is. Very friend-shaped. You're so right, and you should say it. I got a witch herb. Which herb did I get? Ha ha ha. I don't want to fight the wolf. The wolf is too strong. So now I can mark this with an X because I already got everything there. I like the system where you get to mark the... Like, this This feels really engaging. I like it. Right, that way it's done. So you can be here. An X. A frog. Chat, it's a frog. <laughs> a croaker. Check that shit out. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go for this. No, I want you to attack. Forget about him for now. No, I don't want you to use that. I really don't care that the straw man is locked out right now. There you go. See, now I can use an item on him. Cause he's no longer knocked out. I wonder how you get over there. It's another shroom. <laughs> He's so funny, I love him. Ultra killed him. That was like severe overkill. Why is it that with you guys? When someone stays back, they can't get attacked. I mean, you guys beat us up no matter where we are. It's unfair, don't you think? We have a secret. When we stand in the back row, we take less damage. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. One potion. How many encounter? Those are the characters I want. We just keep taking damage. The straw man is very good at, or excuse me, the tin man is very good at missing. Makes him less useful than he could be. Alright, Dorothy's level 6 now. Sorry, I thought the dog had come over here, but I was mistaken. I guess I would have, because I'm always looking at my camera, I guess I would have seen her if she was over there. Is there a way to see what the stats do? I don't know. Let's take a look, shall we? It doesn't appear like it. It looks like this is the best they got, is just seeing what the stats are. <laughs> Get close-ups of their artwork. Yeah, I don't know why there's so much... why there's so many stats. Oh, that must be accuracy, accuracy, not acrobatics. He's like a bird, I told you earlier. Oh yeah, let's see, does, uh, does Tin Man have really low accuracy? It's about 10 points lower than the other characters. But similar to Lion. And those two miss the most often, so... <gasps> I have 0 out of 10 eggs. Quote-unquote eggs. I don't know why they always put them in quotes. Quotes are not for emphasis. I mean, I meant to fight that one, but... I don't like these enemies. These ones disturb me. Dorothy's healed. It really is cruel to make them uh, less accurate. Alright, Straw Man's lagging behind on the levels. Wait, you found the exit to the next area.
But they really make you play a lot without ever being able to save, don't they? It's kind of cruel. Oh, good hit, Dorothy. Alright, Strongman has leveled up now. Very good. Alright, and now... Another fork in the road. What is that thing? It looks like a weird Korok. It's called Hijinx. It's a shell type. <gasps> yeah, I have no idea. How accuracy is going to like work out as a stat considering it keeps going up. Yeah, I noticed there's a little bit of Dragon Quest vibes to the enemies in this game. The only Dragon Quest game I've played is Dragon Quest Builders 2. Oh, which I have right in front of me, actually. That's my only Dragon Quest game. I really like that. It's a pretty good game. It's very long on the tooth, though. Like, it, like it just keeps going. And going, and going, and going. It's a little bit of a slot. Like, I can imagine it's not for everyone, because it gets a little bit tedious. But I was having a good time. And also, it's like, it's called Dragon Quest Builders. And looks like a Minecraft clone, but it's kind of more like it's kind of more like building Lego sets because you get like these like blueprints, and then it turns into watching. It's just kind of like a resource gathering game, honestly. By the end of it, because like it's it's you don't even build them yourself. You just gather resources, and all your little friends put the Lego set together for you. Like, there's some customizing you can do. But, like, is they watch your friends put the Lego set together for you type of game. There's no way that man is normal. The hijinks has an ass! This is not a drill. It has... An ass. Oh my lord. Okay, no, we don't want to do this fight. Hungry Wolf too strong. Let's see where this takes us. Like, assumedly, this is like a different part of the... of Budding Highlands, eh? Oh uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, this is the guy we were... we heard about. I am low, but you can call me Father Dragon like everyone else. As an old man with only a few years left to live, it is my hobby to train the masses that come by here. It was I that trained all the monsters here. Alright, 
that you're fighting him. Oh, he's dead. No, I really don't want you to do that. Just attack him, please. We don't need the lion to beat him. Our res decreased? What is res? Interesting geezer. Resistance? Why would there be a difference between resistance and... ...and defense the her? Dorothy dead. I think we're gonna lose this fight. It's usually magic defense. I haven't played enough RPGs. Like, just like normal RPGs, like this one. Well, he thoroughly kicked our ass. You need not push yourself too hard. <laughs> well, that's about how long I was planning to stream this for anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess I will uh, do more of that. Oh, I guess we'll go back to that area next time. <laughs> because it doesn't make you lose progress. Yeah, I, I figured it wouldn't with how everything works here. That was my guess, and I'm glad I was correct. Please turn off power. Okay. Why is there an option called shut up? Let's see here real quick. Just making sure it's saved. Look at them dancing, by the way. Oh, it was too late. <laughs> Okay, so when you quit, you get temporary save data. I'm gonna create a save state just in case. Always like to have that as a backup. Oh, wrong button. Well, that was a lot of fun. I actually really liked that game a lot. Like, it looks really, like, I was sold just on, like, the graphics alone. But, uh, it's pretty fun to play, too. I'm having a good time. Uh, I think it was a good pick for my next, like, full stream series. Uh, as for now, I'm gonna get going. And I will be back tomorrow. Um, and I'm gonna continue Paper Mario. Thousands of Doors, and uh, Shiny and Biss are going to join me for more Dr. Robotnik's Ring Racers. So I'm looking forward to that. 
And then, yeah, so next week it's just going to be more of the same. Focusing on Paper Mario, and we're going to do more 3D World, and we'll do more uh, Beyond the Yellow Rick Road. Um, and then on every Saturday until I get through them, I'm playing Pangea Software Games, which has been a very, very interesting experience so far. <laughs> the one today was interesting. Uh, yeah. And then eventually, when Kali is back, we will finish, um, Four Swords Adventure. Or, not Adventure, just Four Swords. Four Swords Adventure is the GameCube one. We're just playing the original GBA one. Um. But yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you then.